What is that thing deep inside of you that ultimately gave you the courage to go build your first guitar? Well, for me, that had to be the inspiration of my dad. See, growing up, it seemed like there was nothing too challenging for him. And so today is extra special because today, me and my dad, we're gonna build something together. I hate sanding. It's gotta be one of the most difficult and unpleasant parts about building a guitar. And I think that one of the most difficult sanding tasks is sanding the radius into the sides. Now you're probably like me, you have one of these large radius sanding dishes that you use for this process. It's miserable. You put it on the top and you rotate it and continue to move it back and forth until you achieve the desired radius in the sides or your arms feel like they're about to fall off. And just about then is the point that you gotta flip the whole body over and do it on the other side with a different radius plate for that side. Now, when I run into these kinds of challenges, I'm typically looking for some kind of a jig or a machine that is going to make this process faster and more efficient. In this case, I went looking around on the web and I looked on YouTube, couldn't come up with a whole lot other than maybe a few examples where people were rotating that sanding dish with a drill press. Some people were doing it with a hand drill uh, and a, you know, some kind of an attachment to hold that, but nothing that looked like a good purpose-built type of a machine. So I thought that this would be a good example for us to put together a set of plans and see if we could solve this problem. The basic principle of the machine is it's going to have to rotate that radius sanding dish in some way. And the other part of it is typically there are two different radiuses between the soundboard and the back of the guitar. So you're typically talking about two of these discs that we're going to need to rotate. So that means that we're going to need to have some kind of interchangeable disc system uh, as part of the build. We started out by designing a set of plans and we're gonna work from that and give it a try. You ready to build something? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little too ready. <laughs> First up, let's go take a look at the mechanical parts of the build. We've got a one inch solid steel rod, one inch with four bolt hub, pillow block bearings, both at one inch, a 14 inch pulley, and a two inch pulley attached to a 1750 RPM motor. Now, if I've done the math correctly, that 14 inch pulley paired with a two inch pulley on the motor should take the 1750 RPM down to around 250 RPM. I think that's a much more manageable speed for the sanding disc rotation once it's finished. So we've got our top plate and our support underneath cut. Uh, those are 24 and a half inch by 27 inch. And then we've got the male hub end for the top post uh, on the hub and the female side of that as well. Uh, both of those, we've got a six inch square and 10 inch square, double thickness because we're gonna carve those out so that we can uh, put the posts through there and our magnets to hold everything together. Thirty-seven or thirty-four? I want thirty-four. It was a good practice, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, legs next, or do we go ahead and put the tops on? Top tone, okay. and that'll stabilize that section. It'll square it up if it isn't quite square. Okay. Okay, okay. so if we drill out, because the shaft has to go down through, so that's what the center mark's for, so let's put Let's drill out, I think we've got uh, like an inch and a quarter bore spade bit. Let's, let's drill that out uh, okay. and then let's go ahead and attach our pillow block bearings in there and then, then we can attach legs. Okay. Stay 
table. Do you remember the uh, Do you remember the first thing that you ever built? I guess that one of the things that was most useful was my bench. Oh, the one up that was up in the garage with the cabinets. Yeah, above it. Well, okay. Yeah, I remember the pegboard doors. Yeah. So that you could hang you could hang your tools inside. You had to, you could move the pegs anywhere that you wanted to, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> but the the doors were thick. Yeah. I mean, the they're deep. Cabinets were thick, and then the doors were like one by four. Okay. To the sides. Yeah. So when you open them, you could hang stuff on the inside of the doors too. Yep. Yeah, well you, we, it was double-sided, right? So you could hang yeah. on the outside and you could hang on the inside. Yeah. Right. Uh, table is done. We've got shaft and the bearings mounted. Uh, we thought we could get away with not sanding the whole shaft. Not so, not so lucky on that. Uh, hubs on, pulleys on, motors staged. Uh, but we've determined that we need to fix the motor to the plate, and so we're going to put hinges on the plate, right? So that's going to function as a tensioner. Yes. So we're shooting for. Uh -huh. um, so I, th I guess we just kind of got to. We're just going to have to move the motor around uh, until we get it into place, and then set a couple <laughs> of vertical. Uh, two by fours in there to mount the plate to, and we'll use that to, as the tension, right? Yep. All right, so next up, uh, motor plate. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when we when we lock this on, I mean I can feel the magnets catch because I can I gotta I, I gotta pull it to, okay. to get it to get it off there. So like I, I am getting some some magnetic pull. We could use stronger magnets, right? That's the magnets I have in here are 20-30 uh, pound magnets, uh, whereas I could put like a 70 you know, 80 pound magnet in there and that may. But remember, you, you do have to get this off. <laughs> you have to get it off. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, lift off. Holy crud, it worked. On the first try, out of a set of plans that I designed out of my head. That's amazing. That never works like that on the first try. I am so excited. I got a purpose-built, dedicated machine to now tackle one of the most frustrating parts of the build process. I want to help you out. I want to share these plans with you. Now, give me some grace. I am not a designer. I am just a guitar builder. So these are not going to be to the level of sophistication that you're probably used to when you pick up a set of plans. But I want to do my part to share this with you so that you don't have to start from scratch like I did. And when you get it and you make improvements on it, because you are, then I want you to share that back with us and with everybody else so that we can all build something better in the future. That's what we're all about here. So I'm excited that we actually ended up with something that was very usable out of this and hopefully that you do too. Thanks for sharing in the build day with me and my dad. Special thanks to my dad for coming and building with me. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next build. Until then, we'll see you all next time. All right. Well, love you, Dad. Appreciate the help. Love you too.